Welcome to another episode of Azure Perfume Quick Start. Today, I would like to talk about permissions, roles, and how permissions work within a Perfume account. When you've tried Perfume at the initial month, there was a quite simplified permission set, like you are allowed to use Perfume or you are not allowed to use Perfume. There were no distinction between or in the data map for different collections, but that changed with the update of the, or let's call it the collection enhancement update in August this year. And permissions are now, or can be set at collection level. Just a short recap, within a Perfume account, we are able to create collections, a logical boundary around data sources. And that collection level is now the level where we can set permissions. And there are four permission levels available as of today. Collection administrators, they are able to really do everything within the collection level. Data curators, they are there to edit, add and modify data classifications, edit data assets and so on. Data readers are here to read, to get a few only access to assets within your collection. And data source administrators are there to create uh, sources and to configure scans. So different roles and different levels where those roles can be applied. Let's have a look at the permissions a little bit deeper. Switch over to the documentation. The link is in the text below and uh, it's, it's very good defined. So we've got those four roles I've already talked about, the administrators, the data curators, the readers and the data source administrators. And there are some questions like how you would like to work with Perfume. I just want to find assets. I don't want to edit something. It's the data reader role and so on and so forth. So it's really good uh, defined what are the different permissions like a data source administrator, a collection administrator, data curator and data reader are able to perform on different levels like the catalog. Are you allowed to annotate and so on? But documentation is fine. Let's head over to the Azure portal as a start. Maybe you would search for the permissions at the Azure portal. So I'm, I've gone to the details of my Perfume account and access control. Well, there are role assignments. And in the initial era of Perfume, that was the place where you could assign roles. But that's not more the place where you would look. Like all those old roles are marked legacy. So we head over to the Perfume Studio and head over to the data map to the collections. So it's the data map, the collections, and what you see here, it's the hierarchy of collections defined within our data map. So we've got the Azure, the business intelligence, the data lakes, and so on. And permissions can be applied at every level. So we can define role permissions at every level of the collection hierarchy. What is really important collections and uh, their permissions can be inherited. So there is the flag of uh, inherit those permissions. And what you see is like, I'm gonna edit that one. It's my top level uh, collection. I can add another data source administrator with the button over here and I can add those. And uh, what we can do is move to a lower level of those role assignments and we can restrict the inheritance of the permissions. So quite easy concept. It's the collections that are the boundaries of permissions. And every of those levels allow you to assign one of the four roles I've talked about. Just to recap, four roles, collection administrators, data curators, data readers, and data source administrators. Look for the appropriate role you would like to assign to your user groups. And uh, that's it. Nothing more, nothing special over here. 
More details, I've already shown you the permission uh, details page. I'm going to put the link into the video comments. And with that, short video for today, Azure Perfume Permissions, Azure Perfume Roles. It's collection based, four different roles as of today, and it's easy to inherit or restrict the inheritance. With that, enjoy your data catalog and see you next time. Thanks for watching.